Miss, you're on fire. It's very original. No, I do not want to stop, drop, and roll with you. No, your book is on fire. <gasps> Hello everyone, I'm Nikki Novak and welcome to Fandango's Big Ticket Now, bringing you what's hot, what's new, and what's next in the world of movies. Kicking us off with what's hot this week, and we got the first trailer for Gladiator 2. You heard that right, 24 years after Russell Crowe asked, are you not entertained? The film that won an Academy Award and was certainly certified fresh, Sir Ridley is back for a sequel that looks epic. Bick. Could this finally be the film that nabs Sir Ridley Scott a Best Director win at the Oscars? This time Paul Meskel fighting a rhino and no less stars with Denzel Washington in a supporting role, not to mention Pedro Pascal, Joseph Quinn, and Connie Nielsen reprising her role as Lucilla. What was your favorite part from the trailer and who is your favorite player in these epic games? Gladiator 2 shares the same opening weekend as another very highly anticipated blockbuster, Wicked. So of course, if we're gonna have Barbenheimer 2.0, we need a name. Gladicked, Wickedator, What's it gonna be, internet? What do you choose? And speaking of blockbusters, you can head to Fandango.com where you can check out our fan-voted list of the most epic summer blockbusters of all time. On to what's new this week, the Nicolas Cage horror mystery flick Long Legs, which is about an FBI agent in pursuit of a serial killer in the 90s. This is written and directed by Osgood Perkins, who is the son of actor Anthony Perkins. The cast includes Micah Monroe, Blair Underwood, and Kiernan Shipka, but it's Cage's long legs that has been hidden from audiences and is highly anticipated. Early reviews have this one doing really well on the tomato meter. It is currently in the 90s, huh, for a movie set in the 90s, with critics saying that it's super creepy images and great performances, including Cage's, make it one of the best horror films of the year. Also, it's new this week, and our big ticket movie of the week is Fly Me to the Moon. This one is a romantic dramedy starring Scarlett Johansson and Channing Tatum as a marketing specialist and NASA director set around the 1960s space race. This story is set around a marketing specialist who is brought in to fix NASA's public image and help stage a fake moon landing just in case the real one doesn't work out. Supporting actors include Jim Rash, Ray Romano, and Woody Harrelson. We staged a real interview about their fake moon landing, and we asked the cast things that were just out of this world. Take a look. I could not believe it. So we basically, you know what, like, uh, not really a spoiler alert, but we recreate the lunar surface, and on the surface there's like the LEM, and then there's the astronauts, and all the guys that were playing the astronauts are all stunt guys, and they had completely choreographed, like, to the T, the exact motions that, you know, Neil and Buzz and those guys are like calling out. You can check out the full interview on Fandango.com where you can also buy tickets to the movie and you can get those on the Fandango app as well. Finally, what's next? A tornado. Well, a movie about tornadoes, at least in the form of Twisters, which is our next week's big ticket movie of the week. And you know it's a good one when Tom Cruise shows up for your premiere. The sequel is coming 28 years after the first one. It stars Glenn Powell, Daisy Edgar Jones, and Anthony Ramos as a trio who definitely are not staying home when all that dangerous weather stuff is near. And what a whirlwind of a segue because we just happened to interview the cast and you can check that full interview out on Fandango.com right now. Well, that's it for this week's Big Ticket Now. And don't forget, you can get your tickets to all of these movies at Fandango.com or on the Fandango app. And don't forget to follow us on all of the socials at Fandango. Thanks for watching, and I will see you at the movies.